for tuning in. I'm about to just lose it on Factory Farms. I feel bad for whoever answers this call. Thank you for calling Factory Farms. How may I help you? Hi, how are you today? Uh, I saw the most recent report that says that you all are the leading cause of habitat destruction and biodiversity loss. And I, I just thought maybe please, like maybe please stop that. We appreciate your input, sir, but there is still so much more money to be made. Okay, yeah, yeah, I understand that. But uh, wouldn't a habitable planet also be kind of cool? Hello? Chatham House, a highly respected think tank, recently released a report documenting the number one cause of habitat destruction and biodiversity loss and guess what it was? Animal agriculture. The same report also introduces the three best ways to create a more sustainable food system. And guess what was at the top? Reducing food waste and increasing plant-based diets. Animal agriculture destroys so much habitat and drives so many species to extinction for one pretty simple reason. It takes up so much land. Whether we're using the land to grow the feed for these animals, or whether we're using it to actually graze the animals themselves, habitat is destroyed for wild animals, plants, and other organisms such as fungi. That's right, because of overexposure to tasty tunes and the frostiest of brewskis, fun guys are in danger. Now I know that graphs aren't generally very sexy, but wait until you see this little ditty. Okay, this one's not so great either. That's my bad. But let's take a closer look at what's really going on on our planet. 71% of the earth is livable for human beings. Half of that land is used for agriculture. Now 80% of that land is used to raise livestock and their crops. Even though livestock uses the vast majority of the land, globally, we only get 18% of our calories from these animals. 80% of the land and only 18% of our calories. That would be like if 80% of your family portrait were made up of only 18% of your family. What this leaves us with is a world where only 4% of mammals, 4% are wild. 96% of mammals on our planet are either humans or our livestock. Similarly with birds, 71% are farmed and only 29% are wild. Human beings and the animals that we eat have taken over the planet. Animal agriculture is driving the current massive extinction that we are experiencing. And experts at the United Nations, the University of Oxford, the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, and so many others, they all agree that a global shift towards a plant-based diet is absolutely vital to change course. The good news is, is that in the United States, it's never been easier to do so. Yes, access and costs are very serious issues. And yes, there needs to be massive systemic change. Systems do not change without individuals like you and me doing our part. Millions upon millions of us are making the shift. The tide, it is turning and you, you have the chance to be part of history. Friends, we are Factory Farming Awareness Coalition and we are here to tell you what the meat and dairy corporations do not want you to know. Do these greedy mega corporations make you want to pull your hair out too? Well, you can make a huge impact by liking, sharing, and commenting on this video. That is how we beat the YouTube algorithm and spread this information. Doing that is activism. And that one simple task moves us closer to ending factory farming. Subscribe to our YouTube page so you don't miss an episode, and I will see you on the next installment of The Rotten Truth.